all right so today i'm going to demonstrate you how can you execute our, your application on a iphone or the real device without having a developer account from the apple which may cost you around 99 dollars which is especially uh, the, the process is uh, basically helpful in the case where the people want to learn the ios and they don't want to buy a developer account so in that case apple has given this facility with the xcode 7 now i'm going to demonstrate you how you can run that so first let's start with the xcode so here we will create a new project let's say i'll name i'll choose the single view i'll name it as uh, app test on the app test okay app for testing and this is something like that here we will choose the language as well as swift the device we will choose iphone or what here we, we are not going to use the database so i'm not going to use to take any of them so i'll go to the next and here i will save my application okay so this is the application comes in now how to run it because you can see over here these are my simulators and at the top you can see my uh, real device um, so i'm going to do this and if uh, okay so it's kind of indexing processing files it's going to take a bit time okay so when i try to run it on the device it will ask for failed to port sign app for testing no provisioning profile with a valid signing identity that is certificate in the private key pair matching the bundle identifier so this is an issue so now how we can resolve this you go to the export preferences and here you will have an account now just add your developer account uh, so apple id over here i have added my apple id the password okay now i just need to sign in now once i sign in it is taking time okay all right so i got my apple id authenticated and in the same time you can see over here i have got my name and the role and the free this is my actually the signing identity i can see it using the view details it will show me signing identities now if you uh, okay so this is for the ios development ios distribution and mac development mac distribution developer id application and all and whenever i run an app it will give me the provisioning provisioning profile now if you have a developer account you will get a provisioning profile as well i'll click it done okay great now now once you do that i'll go over here no matching profile i'll go to the fix issue and it is going to show me my signing certificate it is the same as that i have added with my apple id it will choose it okay all right so my issue here is resolved now what is important over here to be noted now if you go to the build settings and you can see the code signing here you have code signing and the provisioning profile make sure this is if you don't have the developer account choose it as ios developer and the provisioning profile choose automatic make sure this is automatic if you want to run your app on the iphone once it is done now you can actually run your app will build copying swift compiling assets it is getting compiled okay so it succeeded will succeeded now it is you can see over here it is installing and running my app on the my iphone actual device so, though it will give me an uh, 
warning that this particular provisioning profile is going to expire soon but you will be able to test your application on the actual device real device without having a developer account which is really uh, uh, a great uh, i mean apple should be appreciated for doing this providing a lot of developer opportunity to build their apps run their apps and get an actual look and feel of uh, running the app onto the device Thank you very much. I hope this is going to help you. Thank you. Keep coding.